Welcome to Pots, Pans, and Pioneers. Today we're going to be making brown sugar. Two ingredients, that's all you need, is two organic ingredients to make brown sugar. I'm out of brown sugar and I have a lot of recipes this week that I'm making with brown sugar, so I don't want to go to the store even though it's convenient. Um, I want to be able to know what's in my brown sugar, so I'm making my own. What you want to do is you want to start with an organic molasses. Now, this company is organic, but they have not yet paid for the organic labeling. So, um, molasses in general is organic, so when you're purchasing molasses, make sure that you're using a brand that either advocates natural ingredients or certainly none that come from uh, ingredients that you can't pronounce. So, um, I believe this jar right here has a non-GMO label, so we know that this is a good brand. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have about six cups to eight cups, I don't know, I didn't really measure it. Um, you just start with pure cane sugar. Um, organic pure cane sugar and I've got about a half a cup of molasses and I'm going to turn on the mixer here and I'm gonna drizzle this molasses in the sugar and we are going to watch what's gonna happen so put down the lid gonna lock it down and we're going to start on a, a low speed. Sorry about that. And we're going to drizzle in the molasses. Now, the more molasses that you pour, the darker your brown sugar is going to get. The least amount of brown sugar, the lighter your brown sugar is going to be. You're going to want to at least use a half a cup of molasses to six to eight cups of sugar. Start with that base and you can't go wrong. Isn't that beautiful? Sorry about the camera, I'm holding it one-handed today. So this is organic brown sugar. Isn't that easy? Two ingredients. And now I have enough brown sugar to last forever, seems. It does last a long time. So, we're going to let this beat for just a few minutes. And I've got... Look at this. This is beautiful, beautiful brown sugar. I may let it run a little bit longer, but look at how fluffy and great this brown sugar is, and it tastes wonderful. I keep it in this little container, and what I do is I take a slice of, um, a slice of bread, and I put it in a Ziploc bag, and I leave a little bit of the Ziploc bag open over here on the end and I just pour the brown sugar in the top, lay the bread on top of my container and I air seal it. So this is a got a rubber seal on it and I just lock it down and I keep it in the pantry and the brown sugar never gets hard. Never gets hard. You can buy one of those stones to keep brown sugar fresh, but why? Your bread will never mold. It, it will never mold being in this brown sugar. So um, you just leave the Ziploc bag just a tiny bit open on the end and lay your bread right on top, cover it, put the top on it, and it'll always be soft and moist and ready to roll when you're ready to bake. So I hope everybody enjoyed this tip. And I hope you'll make your own organic brown sugar. Stay away from all the store-bought brown sugar. And um, hope everybody has a blessed day. Please like our video. Subscribe with the red button below. 
and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Have a blessed day.